font factory. As you can see, I already have my fonts here, but I want to show you something first. Okay? What we're going to do is I'm going to make a new one. Is it bounded? What the hell? No. It's just, I uh, guess, open it up again. Uh, where's font factory? Okay, there it is. And this uh, program is very, very buggy. So I would suggest you need to learn how to do this. There's ways to like fix it, fix it just by clicking the screen over here, and it changes the width or the height of what of the yellow uh, square. But this is what I'm going to be showing you. So um, open a new picture, doomed one. There it is. As you can see, ugh, what the hell is up with that? Well, the only way I found out how to fix that is to do this: is to uh, um, increase the zoom and then decrease it back to three. As you can see, it's fixed now. I have no idea why these people haven't updated this program in so long. It it really pisses me off. Okay, so as you can see here, here are the fonts. Now here's the thing. What we're gonna need to do is the width of the square needs to be 17 for the A, because I know that for a fact. And the height I don't remember, but um, I'll make it eight just in case. And the spaces between letters is uh, uh, how many. How much space is it like? Let's see here. One. It will have one space between the letters. And just like pressing a space bar. All right. So an offset is to change where the uh, yellow square would be. And the color def is we need to make it 256. It's always 256. And then just start pixel. Okay. Actually, I have to. I forgot. And then go here. And then press A. And then to make another one of these, just go here and press B. So we're just going to go back to A. Start in pixel. Yeah, sure, whatever. And then go to 17. And see, it's giving me a problem already. Which I do not like. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. God, I hate this. So I already made it. Okay, as you can see, I pulled the zoom and it shows up. What a bitch. So what you want to do is you want to make the yellow square go around the whole font. And also don't make any spaces like, as you can see here, let's let's just say I want to make it, you know, 18. As you can see, there's a space of pink. You don't want that. So just make it uh, enclosed. All right, so now we're going to make the height bigger. Um... I guess 11. Let's try 11. God, I hate this bullshit. Oh, there you go. 11. And it fits it perfectly. And that's all you have to do. It's with the same things. With B, so you just press a new uh, new letter. And then type in B over here. As you can see, this is still giving me bullshit. Go to 17. And just uh, go over B. And then when you're done with this and everything, just save it right over here. Oh, another thing is, I would suggest is use a type of size, use variable. That's why I suggest. And uh, just save it like this. You can font, just called D, I don't care. And just exit out of this. And I want to show you how I did this. We're going to install this into Mugen. Okay, so here's font. And here's my original doomed font. See right here, it was originally um, G, G, um, JG for the um, for the front page, but I made doomed. And then we have to go to data, and you have to go to system.def. And here's your font. Um, here's your font files. And the thing is, if you want to find out what font you need to use uh, for the front, is you have to look at the numbers. You have to look at the number like three. So this is it. Font three is the um, font for the um, main select screen. All right. And another thing is, with the original, this is the original Mugen, um, so it's nothing special. The last thing I remember is before I was having a problem where the fonts were disappearing on me. This was a five, and so that's what makes makes the font disappear when you're at when you want to select that. So just make it um, zero. And that's for any other fonts that you know are using for the main select. Then just save it. 
and I'm just going to go into Megan right now and I'll just show you what I mean. As you can see, there it is. All nice. Alright, now I wonder. Nope. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Also, um, with the fonts in the um, Font Factory, as you can see, there was uppercase, and if you only have uppercase, then just make also lowercase in the, you know where the thing where I showed you, uh, hold on, the thing where I showed you where, um, where to put the letters A, B, and C, um, I made those uppercase, so after you've done all the, um, all the alphabet in uppercase, then just make it in lowercase in that part, of uh, in that part. And then you just select uh, the capital A as the um, lowercase a. And that's pretty much it. So all you need to know. I'll uh, also go through the special effects with font sometimes, sometime with the blending. And that's that might be a harder one to do, but, you know, it's fun. All right, guys. See you later.